Alright guys, so I'm here in my room in the Palms Hotel in Las Vegas. I'm just looking out the window right now. So you can't really see much from the window here, but uh, I guess what do you really expect to see? There's an Eiffel Tower sort of over there. I guess that's not too bad. There's the Rio. Alright, so I'm going to sort of head back over here where I'm going to be doing a surprise unboxing. So this is an MSI notebook. This is part of their GX660R series and I'm going to tell you guys all about the spec of this particular model coming up live from CES 2011. Well, not really live in Las Vegas. Alright, so it's only fitting I break the seals on this bad boy with the killer neck Killer Neck, Killer Nick heatsink that I got at the MSI overclocking event today. So we're gonna go ahead and break this open. I did not bring my unboxing knife with me because I did remember about how I had it confiscated last time I tried to take it on an airplane. So uh, yes, lesson learned and I will not be repeating that mistake. So as a GX, okay with GX as the first two letters of the part number here, it's fairly obvious already that this is a gaming series notebook. So I can tell you guys right now that it uses a Core i7 processor. It supports up to two internal 2.5 inch hard drives, up to 12 gigs max of DDR3 memory, and it also has a powerful Radeon HD 5870 graphics card. So let's see uh, how much of that M MSI is going to cover on the outside of the box for us. It looks like most of the features on here are things that I covered already. You can see the exclusive 3 times DDR3 sodium slots for maximum 12 gigs of RAM. With the way that prices are coming down on DDR3, that may be a very possible thing that you can upgrade this particular model with. We've also got MXI exclusive TDE Plus, that is Turbo Drive Engine Plus technology, for uh, increasing the speed of your CPU and GPU. I've got a sticker about that as well over here. All right, we've also got, yeah, that I mentioned before. So it comes by default with dual SATA hard drives in RAID 0. But what I would really recommend for a notebook like this, and I'm probably going to outfit this one with this particular setup, would be changing one of the drives to a an SSD and then using the other drive as a storage hard drive. We've got an HD webcam supporting 720p with 30 FPS as well as support for USB 3.0. Now sound by Dyn Audio. That's kind of an interesting interesting thing to call out on a notebook because honestly I've been complaining about notebook audio for years and it's good to see that there's uh, not only MSI but there's actually a couple companies that are really working towards addressing what has been just a, a, a glaring omission in the notebook market and that is uh, a notebook that is really designed to deliver good quality sound whether you're running it off the speakers or off of some headphones. So here's the overall spec of this particular notebook. I'm going to stop saying particular now, sorry about that guys. And this is in French so while I could do it, and actually sure why not, okay so uh, the color is uh, black, black, gray and black. The screen is a 15.6 inch 1920 by 1080p, they're calling it glare type, although that's not very flattering. I think what they mean to say is glossy or vibrant. We have an Intel Core i7 740QM processor with dual 320 gig hard drives in RAID 0. Those are 7200 RPM drives. This is a performance model, so it's all about performance. We've got 6 gigs of DDR3 running in triple channel, and we have a Blu-ray combo drive, so that's pretty cool. Wireless it has, uh, we've got Bluetooth and wireless N. We have Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit, and the battery is a 9-cell battery, which for a gaming model, I guess it better be if you're hoping to have any kind of reasonable battery life. And it looks like, looks like French people don't get to know that the VGA is an ATI Radeon HD 5870 1GB DDR5. I, I, I really don't think that was on the French side. So we'll go ahead and check that out. Yes, it's not there. So why don't we go ahead and get our, our killer seal breaker here and let's get this thing opened up. Here we go. I can figure out how to open the box, which I have done on a number of occasions with various products, as you guys may or may not already be aware. Let's see what we got inside here. So as usual, we'll do accessories first. So it looks like the notebook is there. and you got, oh, Maybe these are little MSIMs. 
Actually, that's probably just for packaging strength. So we have our accessory box. I'm just going to move this so that we can get the best possible light. I know the lighting is not ideal here, but I wouldn't be me if I didn't unbox things anywhere and everywhere. So the first thing we find is a power cord. Next, we find an AC adapter. So that's where that power cord is going to plug into. It is pretty large, but you do expect that on a gaming model because there is a lot of power that needs to be delivered. I'll tell you guys what this thing's rated for in just a minute here. So this guy is rated for a 19 volt output and up to 6.32 amps. So that would be uh, well over the maximum of what I would expect this notebook to draw. It's actually not that heavy for such a large power brick. Here, I'll give you guys my uh, my iPhone for comparison if I can find it. I apologize for the state of my room here. I just kind of threw my things down on the everywhere when I walked in. So here's my iPhone for comparison. Okay, so it's a little bit longer than an iPhone. It's about the same width, and in terms of thickness, there you can compare that as well. So hopefully that helps. All right, we've got some discs here. We've got a driver's manual and utilities. We have a Blu-ray and DVD solution. Okay, so we have playback and burning suite for multimedia systems. Pretty cool. We have a Windows 7 Home Premium Thingy. I'm just going to make sure my uh, serial number isn't anywhere on there because the last thing I need is uh, no serial number for this particular notebook. There, I did it again. F3 hotkey recovery function. So let's find out what this is. The purpose is to restore the system back to the factory default settings with F3 hotkey. Always back up important data before using the F3 hotkey recovery. That's a very good idea. So there you go. So they've apparently made it quite easy to restore the system to factory defaults, which is great if you're like buying a system like this for your mom and you don't want to go over there every time she has some kind of a problem. I mean, maybe your mom's a gamer. My mom isn't, but you never know. It's still a good feature to have in their notebook line, uh, regardless of which notebook model we're talking about. So here we have a quick start guide which covers the basics as, as well as some common operating features. So here, let's show you guys what kind of features we have with the function keys. So we can uh, enable or disable the touchpad, we can change our output, we can turn on or off the eco engine, which I'm assuming is going to preserve some power. We can enable or disable our webcam, wireless LAN, Bluetooth, uh, 3G. I don't think that's going to function in Canada. Um, not 100% sure about that. We can adjust brightness, uh, volume, as well as our mute. So that's uh, how we can change things about the system with the function keys while we are operating it. We've got a little warranty summary here. So it looks like it is a 24-month, two-year warranty in the United States and Canada. And here is a CE compliance booklet, which I've never seen before and I'm not even remotely interested in. So next we have our 9-cell battery. And we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Here's our 9-cell battery. Uh, rated for 7,800 milliamp hours. And finally, we are ready to take the notebook out of the package. So I actually just arrived in Las Vegas this morning. I had an MSI event today. I went to uh, an OCZ event today as well. Um, also had a steel series thing to do. And then tomorrow is another very full schedule. I'm going to try and get as many videos uploaded while I'm down here as possible, but uh, it's sometimes a bit of a challenge and I might have to wait till I'm back in Vancouver before I can really give you guys the full update. MSI has come such a long way in terms of their shell design. This is just really slick looking. You've got kind of a neat uh, scaled finish going on up here. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. And then the uh, the top of the notebook is, oh, I wish I wasn't getting sort of weird reflections off it. There we go. So the top of the notebook has kind of uh, an angular shape to it, kind of like a stealth fighter, and it is a glossy black finish. And then we've got a little chrome accent here that I love chrome accents. There, you guys uh, know a little something about me. There's another one there. I love that. Okay, so let's go ahead and sort of turn it on its side and let's see what we're going to find here. So we're going to find a vent pole. Oh, two USB 3.0 ports. That's outstanding, actually. We have an SSD slot as well as a USB 2.0. I hope I didn't say 2.0. I meant 3.0. They are color-coded blue, and they have the little Super Speed logo above them. And then finally, we have an Express. Ah, there we go. 
uh, whatever that is, it's PCIe or whatever expansion slot that you probably won't use, but you'll be kicking yourself if you don't have one and you do need something for it. Here on the back, we're gonna find pretty much the usual fare, a Kensington lock, a covered ventilation hole, so that's kind of that's kind of peculiar. I wonder if they're using this shelf for another model as well that does require ventilation over here. Interesting, to say the least. Here we have our power in, as well as our LAN. We do have support for VGA, as well as HDMI video out, and we also have an eSATA port on the back. Finally, moving around to the other side. Hey, look at that. Looks like we've got dedicated jacks for 5.1 audio out, as well as a microphone. That's pretty cool. So they really are taking audio seriously on this model. We've got another USB 2.0 port. I love having one on the other side, just in case you want to run a mouse off this port, or if it's not convenient to have it up against the other side. So that's a really nice thing to see. And then here we have our Blu-ray combo drive, which is uh, nicely angled with the shape of the overall notebook. All right, let's have a quick look at the bottom, although I'm not going to let you guys see that just yet so that uh, my product key can remain uh, not all over YouTube. And I'm just going to install the battery really quick here. Or rather, I'll show you guys how to install the battery. So you just put that in there, lower it in, and that's it. You've installed the battery. So I'll show you guys the bottom of the notebook. Here you can see that we have easy access to upgrade the RAM as well as the optical drive as well as the hard drive. So just by pulling off this whole plate, you can get access to pretty much the entire internals of the notebook for user upgrades. And you can bet that I will be doing some user upgrades on this guy. We got what appears to be a speaker? I, I, I guess that's a subwoofer actually, so please correct me if I'm wrong, but that looks like a subwoofer on the bottom of this notebook. That's a pretty cool feature. Alright, so let's have a look at the inside here. Okay, so it's covered in plastic, so we won't have any problems with it getting damaged in shipping. Here's our HD webcam up here at the top. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. and. Uh, you guys can come along for the ride because I don't have a cameraman to sort of conveniently end shots for me when I need it and all that good stuff. So I'm pulling all of the protective film off. Oh my goodness, I'm undressing it. Oh yeah, let's see what this says. Got a question or problem? Contact MSI customer service. Good thinking. Okay, so here you can see that the screen is quite glossy. You can clearly see me in the reflection off the screen. Oh, there's your microphone for the webcam, so it's right up there. Uh, once again, we've got a, sort of some chrome accents up here, chrome accents down here, love that. Overall, a glossy black finish. And then there's also some matte black accents in here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this as well. Uh, hopefully I can... Uh get a fingernail under that and I can lift that up there we go so there are our our stereo speakers and here is their sound by Dyn Audio again I'm just gonna try and get an angle here where you guys can see it more easily and you don't have so much uh, reflection off of my lamp but I also don't completely block my light as well so here why don't we do that that's not a bad angle okay so let's get in here so we've got our 2.1 speaker setup so that looks like two speakers up here one subwoofer down in the bottom we've got our power switch here as well as a nice chrome MSI logo we've got some buttons up here which look to be touch sensitive buttons or either that or these are just indicators so I'm gonna have to find that out for you guys and I'm gonna be giving you guys my full impressions on this notebook once I have a chance uh, down here in CES I don't know how realistic that is but once I do get back I'm gonna tell you everything that I have to say about this notebook overall build of it seems so far quite sturdy although it's really hard to tell until I've really typed a lot on the keyboard and really played around with the shell opened it up in terms of keyboard layout it looks pretty strong so far this is not a bilingual layout I hate bilingual layouts, to be perfectly honest with you guys. I've got a properly positioned shift key. I have a short shift key here, but I don't mind that because it would be very rare that I would actually reach over here to hit the shift key. It's much closer here. So I really like this design choice that they've made here to put the arrow keys there to condense the keyboard to give me a number pad because I do actually work on my notebook, even though it is a GX gaming notebook. Yeah, I'm still going to do some work. So it's great to have a number pad if I have to do any data 
entry. The enter and backspace keys are also the appropriate size. And look at this, I've got conveniently highlighted WASD keys. So yeah, yeah, there's a little gaming focus in there for sure. We have one Windows key here, and then we do not on the other side, but that doesn't really bother me very much, and I think that's pretty much all I need to say about the keyboard. The touchpad uses kind of a uh, textured finish, so you shouldn't get too much grease built up. I don't really like uh, very, very smooth touchpads, and I'm glad to see that everyone seems to be pretty much moving away from that. Same thing here. We've got a bit of a glossy, uh, shiny, chrome-finished uh, outer portion here, but the actual buttons themselves are using like a brushed finish so that they're not going to be too bad in terms of finger magnetism and you've also got a little bit of a grip on it so you can really feel um, where your finger goes without it sliding off or anything like that. We've got some stickers here, something about ATI Mobility Radeon HD 5870 graphics, Windows 7, Core i7, Energy Star and DTS Surround Sensation PC. Look at that. I wonder if what are these? Hmm, interesting. Okay, well we've got another little summary of the technology that's present in this notebook, although I've covered that already, and I think that pretty much concludes my unboxing. I'm going to take a moment and actually fire it up here with you guys. There we go, we got an MSI boot screen. We've got, uh, appears to be Western Digital 320 gig drives in RAID 0. You can see they are configured in the RAID BIOS. That's such a cool feature, being able to have RAID in a, in a notebook. I mean, you could even throw two SSDs in here, throw those in RAID 0, and get just crazy speed for a notebook. I'm also going to play around uh, in the near future. I'll do another video for you guys. Uh, I want to play around with the overclocking feature for the CPU because I will be using this notebook for some video rendering and I want to find out how much of a performance improvement I can get by overclocking the CPU. So there we go. We're fired up and I'm going to spend some time now to do some setup. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the MSI GX660R 060 US. This is a Core i7 and a Mobility Radeon HD 5870 gaming notebook.